Today in this video I'm going to show you how to create this hologram effect. There is no other plugin that required for making this effect, just it's using only Adobe After Effects only. So let's get a jump on it in Adobe After Effects, let's see how it is. Alright guys, so as you see here guys, this is my video clip which I'm going to use, so I shot this subject scrolling the hologram screen on the area, so you have to shoot yeah same as like this okay okay and then he hit on the, his phone to switch off the hologram okay so now let me go here on this effect and the preset and i'm going to search the effect called mocha so you drag this effect here on this footage okay so now you go here on this mocha you open up so now you go here on this workspace you have to choose the essential right so and then here i'm going to find where my hologram will start okay where this subject will start to hit the phone to switch on the hologram this effect okay so you have to zoom it first and then let me just use this tool okay so and i'm going to select the point which i'm gonna use for tracking this phone where this phone will go okay we're moving on so you try to select like something Ooh. you can use for tracking okay so after making this point i'm going to track okay so now you click here for this track forward and then you just wait a few little bit okay you see guys my point is going with my phone where my phone is going okay so okay when this subject is done to hit or to switch off the hologram you have to save you have to save this setting so now you have to click save okay and i'm going to create the solid yeah the null object okay you have to click here on this footage and then you go here on this mocha effect open this tracking data and then you create on track data you choose the layer one okay and press okay you see guys i received the, that point they have been tracked on the mocha effect for this corner pin you have to choose this transform okay so and then you click here on layer export to null one because i have already created this null layer and then you click apply so when you see how my phone is moving on you see that is some point which is going with my phone is that point with which we have been put it on mocha effect that's good you see my effect is going with my phone tracking is done so so now and i'm going to create the solid so for this solid let me rename it as fractical yes yeah fractal yes something like that okay and then i have to choose the black color yes right and then you press ok hit ok and again okay so let me go here on fit a 100 yes this is good so this practical is where i'm going for using to create some let me search the effect called the practical noise and then you put it here on this layer you see what i got so let me open up this transform you have to scale it out this is practical noise okay so you can scale it just a little bit and this brightness too yeah this is good even the contrast you can increase yeah you can increase some contrast yes so and then the next one is let me move this layer here on the top of this null one okay and then you have to mute to close this eye for this null one so and then i'm going to mask so and i'm going to mask my phone yes where my brightness it will comes to my phone okay so let me go here on this pen tool so and i have to zoom and you have to find where this subject is starting hitting on a phone okay guys is where my effect will started okay so now and i'm going to track and i'm going to select to mask yeah this phone okay 
the fractal noise is on my mask okay so now let me open up this layer open this mask so mask one two so let me increase this mask feather increase this mask feather like to 10 you see guys yeah you can't see the edges of my mask because i increased the mask feather right okay and then so let me close this layer and i'm going to link this layer with this null one by using this parent link right so and then after linking so when you pray guys you see this practical noise this layer is moving with my phone yeah it also attaches that tracking point that we have been making in mocha effect okay yes the next one so for this evolution i can add some like let me add like uh two yes and add some keyframe so when i pray i can see some my practical noise is moving there's some something a few little bit yeah okay let me go to search another effect which is called cc ladier first blur yes and this effect you have to put it on this practical noise for this layer and then you come back here for this effect on my phone okay so you see the setting of my effect okay so i can move this point here down because i just want to my brightness go through up because my hologram will go through up right so let me move this point here down down okay have to move down here down of this practical effect okay you see there is something which is going through up okay yeah this is good let me move it just in this way so here i can increase some amount amount okay so you see the amount of this cc radial fast blue you see the brightness is going up because i have been put down this point down okay so it makes like inverse when you put this point down the blurriness goes up when you put it this point up the blah yeah the brightness goes down so that reason why i put it down okay so in this way okay you see this is nice let me go here on standard i can increase some bright you see guys now you see the brightness how the brightness is this is good and let me try to increase this amount for 100 yeah this so this is too bright okay so let me i can decrease <laughs> this is much bright so i can decrease like 96 something like this yeah this is nice yeah so for this brightness i have to add keyframe okay where my brightness it will be started because my brightness it will come from the phone so i have to animate this brightness by using keyframe okay so i have to add two keyframe as always one keyframe for zero bright another keyframe for bright up okay some stuff which is black i have to choose screen okay so when you play you see the bright it will come from the phone and then it goes up okay something like this okay so let me open up this layer and let me open up this effect where my brightness effect it is for this cc radial fast blur i have to select those two keyframe light click on it keyframe assistant is is yes it's like to smooth you can use shortcut using f9 it's cool okay so and you see how my brightness will comes from the phone goes to up yeah this is how the hologram will comes from the phone goes to up okay that click and chris new and i'm going to create another solid okay so for this solid to let me rename it as mask yes then press ok yeah, it has also black screen okay it has also black color so now let me close this eye for this mask layer okay and then the things i'm going to do i'm going to mask this brightness comes from my phone because i have to mask it well in order to people see 
this bright it comes from the screen yes not on the side of the phone okay so you see guys how my brightness is coming so that reason why i'm going to mask it well as possible yeah mask it in this way this is cool yes to go here on this practical mask and then you link with this mask link it with this practical noise and then when we click on invert you see guys this brightness comes from on this screen of this phone you see guys this is nice this is pretty nice and then you have to link it with this null one okay by using this parent link okay and when you guys this is pretty nice this is pretty nice okay so you see guys yeah that's top one this is cool so now let me back here on this fit and the next one and i'm going to add my hologram screen yes you see guys is going with the phone okay yeah this is nice yeah this is good so let me go here on this project and i'm going to import my video which i'm going to use is as hologram so you move this video here on this composition yeah it's like i took like some different video and then and i combine it together so i edit it like someone who is scrolling from one side to other side you see guys with this one video second one third one yes i try to use like four videos yes okay so now let me go here on this rectangle tool okay so double click on it you see guys the result what i see okay so here for these edges for this video you can click shift yeah you have to hold the shift and then you you can decrease your videos okay so when you hold the shift right yes when you hold the shift goes with all angles at the same time okay yeah now it's time to, to back here on this composition and i'm going to move it this whole video this is my video clip here on the top of this clip you see how my video it is so you have to add also in 3d dimension the first one you have to do okay in about this 3d icon okay so for this parent link i can link it with this null one because it must going with that tracking point okay where the phone is going okay so come back here on this whole video so i can scale it just a little bit scale it out yeah this is nice size so for here i have x y and z rotation yeah the 3d dimension so now and i'm going to set it well here on the top where my subject is scrolling so it will becomes like a rio like a person who is scrolling and screen on the air yeah and let's see how it is so let me set it it a well by using even this position x y and z yeah to set my my screen well so come back here on this no more you have to click screen okay so now you have to move this video where my subject is starting to hit on their phone right okay so let me bring it here forward okay <clears throat> yeah guys when you play you see my god this screen is going with that tracking point you see it is shaking guys so when you see this effect it is shaking in this way so you can unlink you can unlink this video with that null one you see guys how my video it is going this is not good yeah this is not good 
so that reason why and i'm going to unlink with this null one so close this video yeah first i have to unlink yeah you have to click none okay when you play you see the video is fixed yeah this is good it's fixed in this way and i'm going to add the effect which is called cc power pin yes now let me add cc it is cc power pin right the cc power pin yes you have to move this effect here on this video okay because i'm going i'm going to animate this hologram comes from the phone and then it goes to up so i have to add keyframe here for the top bottom left and light yes I have to move this keyframe just forward just a few little bit okay and then for here to where this blue line is here and they have to move this corner pin here down on the phone okay yes yeah in this way this is nice let me try to zoom it again yeah the will comes from this phone yes okay let's come back on fit so it is done so after adding those two keyframes you see guys when you play this video all this screen will comes from this phone then it goes up okay it will going up with this bright this brightness so this is looks good so and and i'm going to select those two those keyframes so i have to smooth it okay after smoothing this keyframe the next one is adding the smooth yeah to add the smooth for this clip you see guys how it will be so let me go here on this composition settings i just want to make my screen into curved okay so now you have to go here on the 3d lender you have to choose this cinema 4d so and then you press okay so and you see guys you see my transparent video is gone so and i have to click this on these whole videos okay you open up and then open up this geometric option so i have to use this curvature yeah because i want my screen to be curved okay so when you increase the number of this curvature you see guys the screen is become into curved yes you see yeah this is nice this is good yes this is nice so you see how my screen is it is in curve yeah you see how my screen is it is in curve yeah and then when you pray so this is the final result you get for making this hologram in this adobe after effect so and then here i can open up this transform and then i can reduce this opacity in order to get my video order to be transparent yes looks like, like a grass looks like a real hologram so guys now let me add this tint effect to reduce to change the color of this brightness and then i can choose the color same as same as with my video okay yeah this yeah this one this one yeah it's, it looks like my video yeah if you like my video please don't forget to make subscribe like and drop the comment down below i just want to know what do you think so see you in next video and peace